Terry Flanagan, I work for Memphis Tourism, formerly Memphis Convention and Visitors Bureau. Um, what you might not understand about Memphis Convention Bureau is we're not part of the convention. Well, the convention center is a subsidiary of Memphis Tourism. Um, and all the little tourist venues you see are a subsidiary of ours. But my job is to support the sales directors in bringing in conferences, expos, and the such to fill up that convention center, to hold conferences, which in turn fill the heads and the beds of all the hotels like Weston and stuff like that. Because as you know, that money, those tax dollars go back into the city and make the city thrive. So basically, in my support role, I um, help put out the RFPs. Associations, let me back up, associations all across the United States, all across the world, want to hold conferences. But it's not as easy as, hey, I'm going to go to this city and hold my conference. Some cities they don't even know about. So it's our job to advertise all over the place and let them know everything that Memphis has to offer to offer their attendees for their conference, make their room rates better, that kind of thing. We've got offices all over. We've got um, France, France Germany, Germany, Japan, Japan, everywhere. We've even got a taxi cab in yeah, Italy okay. that's all wrapped with Memphis all over it. So it's not just a national effort, it's an international effort. You want these people to come here. Um, and again, I just support our sales staff that goes out and helps with these RFP, RFPs. They bring in what's called a FAMA familiar, familiarization tours to show the event planners what we have so they can go back to their organization's board and say, we like this city. This is the city that will give us the best offer. Um, sites are the same thing, but they're not as big as fans. There may be two to three people, maybe just one person to do the same thing. We show them all over this. We bring them in. We show them all over the city. We show them what the hotels are willing to pay for a rate for their room block. They go back with their board and say, they, this is a great place to hold a conference. We're a third tier city. There's first, second, and third tiers. We're one of the smaller cities because we don't have any, a whole lot of convention or convention hotels. Um, that's changing rapidly. We've got uh, the new convention center is being renovated. That's where all that construction is. It's going to be something like you've never seen before. We've got a couple more bigger hotels that um, have sealed some deals that will give us more space as well. So we're getting there. And I think we're pretty successful for the size city that we are. And take it away. Um, I am Jean Marie Cummings, and I used to work at Memphis Tourism for their training subsidiary called Welcome to Memphis. A few of you look pretty familiar. Um, I'm sure that I have come into one of your classes before and talked to you. Um, I also used to work at the Westin. <laughs> um, but now I work for y'all. So I am now um, over at the Kenneth Wilson Culinary Institute. Um, I love it over there. It's super cool. If you haven't been over there, come on over. Um, if you would like to know more information about classes and stuff, we'd be happy to give you a tour. Um, but we are just kind of, you know, getting it all together right now. Um, we do have classes in session. We have a Monday night class and a Tuesday night class. Um, and the next semester we have a whole, um, there's a whole schedule. Um, and it's all online and everything, and you can go and look at it. I don't know all of the course numbers or anything right now. Um, but um, it's going to be really, really good. And I hope that, I know that I'll see most of you um, because you will have to take something over there, at least one class. Um, so if you see me, say, hey, I'm not a scary person. Um, but that's, that's kind of it. Um, I, I really don't. I don't have that much more right now. I mean, if you ask questions, then yeah. So, all right, here we go, here I go. So, um, for me, hospitality was not my first passion. Um, I was attending Southwest Tennessee Community College in 2015, and I attended the job fair, and the Western was there. And they were hiring. It's fake. Yeah. <laughs> they were hiring kitchen stewards. So, me, I was naive, I'm just still naive to this day. Um, I did not know what a kitchen store was. I, I didn't know it was a dishwasher. So <laughs> <laughs> I applied for the position, you know, thinking um, it, it didn't say Weston on there, it said Blue Restaurant. Um, oh, yeah. 
So I, I just went, went with it just to get some money while I was in school and everything like that. Um, got the job. I was hired by Kim from Kimberly. Yeah. And the, the Kim, oh my gosh. she lost so much weight. Um, <laughs> um, so I started off with that. Um, I, when I when I first walked into the kitchen, Nacho trained me, <laughs> um, and I saw like the dish with machine and everything, and I was like, man, this is what I'm doing. Like, dang, you know, I was gonna be doing this, and like, man, it was like, you know, people drinking and stuff, and they poured out and fucking all that, all that. Food, but you did man. it. Yeah, I did it. And now what are you doing? <laughs> I did it, but um, so I did that for like a year and a half, and um, I eventually um, learned as a dishwasher, you know, that I was decent with talking to people, and um, I knew that I started to learn that it was banquets, um, but not only just food and beverage, you had bars, you had sales, accounting, human resources, um, revenue management, sales, I was like, man, it's a lot of things you can do inside a hotel, so. I said, hey, maybe I should try moving around. And I had friends like Jean Marie, Caroline, and Bradford that we pushed helped me out of their wing and they um, pushed me to do different things. And I eventually started hosting in a restaurant after going for the front desk position and I didn't get it. Um, I hosted in a the restaurant, then I moved on to serving, and then I did you know, dining, <laughs> and I did a little cooking on the line as well. Um, and I did this for like another year and a half. So it was like, you know, about two years and a half or whatever. Um, I did that, I learned, I graduated from, you know, um, from Southwest with my degree in general studies. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So um, Caroline and Bradford had told me, hey, you probably should go to school for hospitality. And I was like, hey, yeah, that makes sense. And I was doing it in on dining at the time. Doing it in on dining, I had a chance to serve like Kevin Hart, Every NBA team, I think I served every yeah. NBA team. A lot of people that I never thought that I would meet, like Kirk right. Franklin, and right. um, you know, just a lot of different people. Him and Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it was. It's a lot of people that come to the West End. Yeah. Um, and I met my twin. I met Tank. Yeah, that's yeah. what they said I look like. I don't think they know who Tank is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I and I, I um, when I was doing room in room dining, I made a lot of money. But I decided, hey, maybe I should do a little something different. I was going, I ended up coming here for hospitality and um, I moved on to the night out to the front desk. So I started working overnight and coming here and doing my school work during the day. Yeah. And after that, I mean, night out, it taught me a lot. Night out, it basically prepared me to being a guest services manager. Mm -hmm. um, I was handling things on my own, handling junk people, homeless people. Get them more ready, you know. I had to grow some toughness. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, um, like working as a night out, night out, not only you got us in the house and you know getting everything ready for the morning and rolling over to the next day, it was security guard overnight basically. Um, after night out, I um, did guest services lead, and then I did supervisor, and then now I'm the guest services manager at the West End. So I'm like a proud mom. Yeah. And, and I've seen him grow and it's just been so cool. And um it's like the managing thing is so much different than yeah. anything I've ever done. Um, yeah. now I go to stand up meetings, um, you know, like um I don't I forgot what the meeting's called. I haven't been to so many resume like, meetings. Yeah, resume meetings, but the meeting <laughs> when you're all you're at the table with the general manager, your best friend Craig. Um, you know, sales manager, all that, y'all yeah. all around just talking about the group and stuff that's kind of cool to do that type of stuff. Um, 24 years old, and what else? What else we got? Um, yeah, I'm scheduling now, budgeting, that's helping Kim budget. Yeah, it's a lot of different things I'm doing that I never, yeah. Yeah, thought I would be doing so soon yeah. at least. So it's cool. That's all I have right now to pass on. Payton is. One of my guest service agents, and I trained her. Yeah, <laughs> she's great. She's um shy, but it runs in the family. She's gonna be great. <laughs> you don't know her grandfather. Yeah, she, her grandfather's a famous hotel general manager, right? Am I right? Like now he does with one of his tours and stuff. Okay. Who's okay. your grandfather? That's your granddad. Yes. Yes. Don't <laughs> <That's laughs> <her> stop. <laughs> she's gonna be great. She's just shy. You'll be fine. Yeah, but um, we are 
hiring a service agent, so I have my cards with me. I just start orientation tomorrow. Perfect. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. We are looking for guest service agents. Uh, we need flexible guest service agents. Um, so I'm gonna leave my card with you guys. I'll some of you guys who are interested. Like when I was at the West End, so I am gonna be real. I didn't even know that we had a West End. Um, and then Patrick, who was one of the old GMs, called me and was like, hey, I hear that we need to hire you. And I was like, okay, sure. Because um, my internship was ending and I didn't know what else to do. And so I started at the West End and it, it literally changed my life. Like I met people like Benny, like my good friends, Bradford and Caroline. Um, and I got to do a lot of things. And I met Young, like, yeah. Like it was just, <laughs> it's just crazy because I always wanted to work in hotels, but I didn't realize, and I knew that you could, grow in hotels really quickly, but I didn't realize what that meant for me as a professional. Um, so I started the Western as a guest services manager, or no, sorry, guest services agent. Um, and then within six months, I think, I was a, I was the Western experience specialist. So I took care of all of our elite guests. I did a lot with the NBA teams. Um, I did a lot with the international groups that came in and stuff. And then after that, I was like, this is great. I had a lot of fun, but also maybe I want to not be here until 12 o'clock at night. So I went into sales and um, I did that for a hot second. Um, I was the sales coordinator for the, for the hotel. And while I enjoyed it, I learned that I'm much better one-on-one -on -one with people. Um, I did handle all of our international groups and it was really cool to be up there in the offices and everything, but it just wasn't my calling. So I went back downstairs as a 